Welcome back to the fuckery of the <laughs> Lavender Ruins and the Rings. Uh, Part 7. Yeah. Uh, die Hard Challenge now, I think. Yeah, Die Hard Challenge. Okay, Die Hard Challenge. Prove you're the most Die Hard Sonic fan out of all of us. <laughs> wow. Simple. St stage 1, complain about everything. <laughs> Sonic Mania doesn't look to be that good. Stage yeah, 2! Them fucking words. <laughs> Stage 2. Acknowledge that liking more Sonic games and hating them isn't a bad thing. And that, you know, more Sonic games are good than bad. No, Step not three, really. Flame. Step 3. Flame Wars. Oh, yeah, but before we, were, we started recording, Joe and I were actually in an argument about Sonic Boom. What argument? Do I get into that? Wait, what argument? Which, oh. which to start a flame war? The classic era had, has had as much <coughs> bullshit as the modern era. No, no, no. So, Joe was saying that e even though the ratings for Teen Titans Go have been dropping, the ratings for Sonic Boom have been increasing, and I can counter that by saying that's not true. I keep really? Every time I yes. hear you Americans complaining about that show, it only makes me curious. I mean, uh, you guys treat that Wait. as it's like one of the worst things ever created by, by mankind. Well, the problem with Teen Titans Go is the fact that it was clearly a rating strap at first. Basically, it was sort of, or well, they pitched it as sort of the revival of the original Teen Titans. And then proceeded to have it be the exact Actually, no, opposite yes. of that. No, 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 Deji, I'm talking about, like, way back. I mean, apparently. And then, of course, they said, oh, it's actually, you know, equal to just the same characters, but in a different universe. Only the problem is that later they contradicted that. See, here's how Teen Titans Go went. Its first phase was, okay, let's try and make the show that, you know, was layered and was, well, okay, think Avatar, The Last Airbender, but for Cartoon Network. Uh, basically a show that could be both funny but also have a lot of serious elements, well-written characters here and there. You know, what you would expect from a show. Alright guys, we're on the um, on the subject of the Stage 3 Flame Wars thing. I've got the perfect ignition for it. Do you want to hear it? Not now, Dweebza. Uh, let me finish. Um, basically though, wow. Titans... This mission Go was on. literally- This mission was literally me just killing an enemy. I'm not even kidding. That's- <laughs> that's the mission, everybody! Wow. <laughs> And now two more missions. Don't bother telling me which one is the story important one. Just let me pick at anyway, random. Anyway, yeah. while this silence is going on, I'll just say it real quick. Um, uh, criticizing the modern era for having trial and error gameplay while the classic era also had trial and error gameplay is a bit silly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, anyway, so, uh... anyway, basically, the problem with Teen Titans Go is like, well, it started off as just its own thing that, you know, fans of the original could ignore. Until it started to try to challenge people who criticized the show. Because, well, fun fact, despite it not having that much relation, it just wasn't really that good. And people complained about it because, well, we just didn't like it. So then they decided, okay, you know what? Rage quit. Make fun. Well, I wish it was rage quit. That's when they started to make fun of the original. As in, they literally brought in clips from the original, dubbed over it, and, okay, if it had just been that, that would have been fine. But then came the episode that actually made Teen Titans go canon to the original show. Whoa, 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 time out. What? Don't you remember, Deji, the episode reboot? Where it turns out that control fruit freak oh, actually oh, decided... Oh. That, yeah. That was pretty much the point where they declared war, well, because... Well, okay. DR, it's an insult to the original show, according to people who've seen everything. Thing. Well, the thing is, like, we would have been able to ignore it until they started to try and make fun of us. And now, they just use it. <laughs> okay, here, here's a better example. Think of it as in, as family guy, how family guy has gotten more self-aware, and they just don't care anymore. Yeah. And yeah, it's like that. That's a aware of how people the original right thing I wanted to say. Ratings for Season 2 have not been good. I wasn't comparing it to season one, if that's what you No, no, no. You said that ratings for Sonic Boom have actually been increasing. And yes, I'm by gonna... the week. No, wait, no, no, they have not. I'm going to explain right now. I remember. I... All right, this is how season two went. Week one, it had about half, less than, more than half a million views. 
Week two, it had 188,000. Week three, it had 101,000. Hey, Desi, I've four, got an objection had... for you coming, but I'll let you finish with is this. Is this, is this, is this part just going to be Desi and Jova arguing about TV ratings? No, yeah, no, 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 not really. Yeah. Yeah. Ba battle me. Battle me. In fact, in fact, let's look. I'll show you this week's ratings as well. Wild libs, it's a, wild libs, honest, honestly, libs. For now, for now, just let them go at it because I don't really have anything to do to say about these missions. They're just stupid missions that exactly. all, that we've been doing also, all the time. Deji, Deji, you're getting something wrong though. Explo you do realize that the well, Deji, when you said over half a million, you you were referring to the Cartoon Network era. No, I was referring, referring to, to the, the one... Boomerang era. Yeah, then you're incorrect then, because the boomerang airing was never at half a million. Oh, that was the oh, wait, CNN. Oh, wait, act, act, CM. Because nobody oh, has boomerang. <laughs> no, wait, actually, I was wrong. But the half a million was Cartoon Network, but remember. Oh, season. yes. Jova, let me finish. I know, I know that you have a know it all, you suffer from know it all syndrome, but let me no, 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 Dad. You go on by all means. I'm just saying, I've got the objection because I know okay. exactly where you're going. Remember, the first se the first episode of season two premiered on Cartoon Network, and after that, it got changed to Boomerang. Mm hmm. And remember, it also got aired on s at 6 a.m. Yes, that hence the <laughs> over half a billion views. Then go on. Yeah. So that where are you getting from? The point is, compared to season one, it's doing worse. But I wasn't comparing it to season yes, one. Yes, you were before. You were. Actually, we were. actually, actually, I think he was comparing it to 2000s Go. Yeah, basically, Deji, I was referring to the fact that Sonic Boom, ever since the start of season two, has been rising week by week. In fact, I think my fellow co-commenters remember when I specifically said, "Compare it." Leave me out of it. Week. But, uh, okay, how's that rising? <laughs> so it looks like how's he was rising. I hate. All right, let me just sit to stop you guys for oh, a moment so I can on, actually talk pages. about. I hate this gargoyle enemy because this gargoyle enemy is incredibly hard to get by because it constantly freezes us, uh, uh, or rather petrifies us. So basically, you have to be really quick with the, with the attacks. And there you go. So, Fucking hell, so Jesus! You don't, you don't like Greg Wiseman's work. Greg, no. Greg who? Wait, Why Greg Wiseman? Because oh. gargoyles. Oh god. Oh, well, oh, 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 no, no, no. I, don't, don't, don't even, I won't even allow you to make the audience I think was, that. I, I was trying to make a joke. I know, I know, but the thing, but that's not, but, but that's not, uh, that's not even a joke to me. That's just insulting because to imply that, I, <laughs> to imply that I could possibly ever not like gargoyles. Okay, so okay. Oh, well, thirteen like season three, so exactly. Uh... I wonder, would you also like Young Justice since Wiseman also had yeah, a hand? Exactly. In, uh, I don't. I, I, I don't think I've seen the Young Justice. As for Spectacular Spider-Man, yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, you like Young Justice. Well, yeah, I, 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 for, I, for season. yeah, that reminds me. Um, I should I should get around to maybe do watching Young Justice at some point, because especially since there's this third season coming up. Ooh. Yeah, go ahead. But um, but at the same time, <laughs> I've got like a billion other shows. No, you don't. I've got Gravity Falls, Steven Universe, that Voltron thing, whenever I get back into watching that. Which you um, did recommend, Edgy. Yeah. Mm. Oh, sorry. I keep bas I keep my hand my phone keeps bashing into the mic. Don't you hate And here we go. Woohoo! Makes it sound like I'm being shot, you know. With a silencer? Yeah. Hmm. How odd. Alright. Yeah, to be honest, this game is actually kind of boring. <laughs> well, again, this is a game that's definitely more fun to play than it is to watch. I don't know, I think Pedro would disagree with you. <laughs> again, that's one thing that varies. Well, the thing, well, I, I don't get bored from playing this game, I get frustrated because Which I don't is even worse. Because I don't like the controls. Again, that's like I said, why it varies. It depends on whether or not you can get into the control scheme. The shoe <sighs> gun is giving you an option to either have to do it motion control wise or do it traditional controls. Do you think this game will ever get ports to Steam yet with traditional controls? 
Eh, yeah, maybe. Well, if they did it for Lost World, I guess it's possible. What is that? Anyway, moving on. Alright, now time for a cutscene, finally. Jesus. Turns out this was the, the story important mission. There's spirits within, wouldn't you agree, Pedro? Ugh. Are you okay? Was that ring heavy? No, it's because every time he touches one of them, he feels his uh, life force being uh, uh, pulled away a bit. He's dying. Good. I mean, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. He's doing pretty so-so at the moment. No way, so is this a perfect representation of his career right now? Like, what Oh we god, Deji. Uh, wait, 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 so let me finish. Let me finish. Like, oh, the game gets oh, good, this one. A, a, what is it? Basically, Sonic, here, take, this is the plot MacGuff MacGuffin that we're going to use to pull at our asses at the last moment so we can save the day. I know it's not your usual Emerald thingy, motherfuckers, but um, it'll work. Yeah. You have to do. Alright, go ahead, guys. You're saying Dizzy? So, uh, when the game gets good, is that the perfect representation of uh, colors, generations, and all sorts of and transforms? And when the game is finally over, that's a perfect end of things that looks to go up. That's an allegory for uh, Sonic Mania. Hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's we actually. Are, we all know Mania is going to be good. <laughs> oh, yeah, th well, that, yeah, that's actually my favorite part of this game the, the part where it's over. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So in this um, level, hold on. What is this one again? Is it, I don't think. This you is... know, now that I think about it, this level, reminds me. Of, oh yeah, uh, this, is, this is one where I'm supposed to apparently kill 15 skeletons, but for some reason it doesn't work immediately because it, it it's kind of. Let's just say this this level is kind of weird. But oh, there you go. Basically, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, never mind. Now I, now I remember what this is. Yeah, there you go. One. Basically, I have to kill those green monsters. Except they're not as uh, common as you might think. <laughs> again, I, again, I'm backtracking. Um, I'm backtracking very carefully because you know I don't want to have the misfortune of missing one by accident. You know what my favorite thing about this game was? What? Before Arrow came back for the social media stuff, uh, they would, the Sonic Twitter and Facebook would have this thing where they would say, something years ago, this game came out. And then when it was at Secret Rings' anniversary, they said, what was your favorite boss? And the replies were, the controls. You better someone who likes that game. That's funny for sure. Anyway. Hey, do we know how well Fire and Ice did? It didn't do that well, um, but the, the, mostly because by that by that point by this point the Sonic Boom games have gotten a really bad rap because of you know Shadow Crystal and Rise of Well, not so much. Well, not so much Shattered Crystal, but definitely Rise of Bear. Okay, well, the previous game games seem to have been salvaged with Fire and Ice. Which actually turns out, Pedro, Contact and Graph actually yeah, legitimately yeah, yeah, no. watch the show. Basically, so, yeah. so, so basically what you're telling me is that the show's writers uh, went to Contact and Graph and go, Here, you dumb fucks, this is how you do it. Not really. Basically. You can do that, actually. Contact and Graph actually went and watched the show and actually... Improved yeah, so the you know, so just go and look it up on Wikipedia. I'll be, I'll, it'll be interesting if they actually get Pontac and Graft to actually write an episode for the show. <laughs> that would, I wonder what the reactions would be on this SMP. I know very easily which one it is. Well, well, oh, well, 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 it was interesting you mentioned that, Pedro, because, um, they got because Ian I, one. Yeah. And I mentioned and now I've mentioned before, Pontac on his own wrote an episode of the new Thunderbirds show. I haven't seen that one yet, but um it'll be interesting to see how he handles um a rescue show. I'll definitely yeah. say I'm willing to give Pontac and Graf the benefit of the doubt because honestly, they have shown that like when they have the proper working conditions, they can they be had Sonic Off World. Well, they admit it. 
Well, you'll remember they admitted that they kind of got rushed on that one, too, right? No, they said that they just... They just looked up on YouTube. Uh, Deadly. Um, Deadly. That was when they were talking about their overall knowing of a Sonic War. <coughs> when it came to Lost World, they, they they specifically stated that we ran out of time, and that's why the ending did not quite work out so well. Granted, that's not as much an excuse, but again, it's reminiscent of Generations and how Lost World was kind of about them kind of getting screwed over by Sega. What about Sha what about Shadow Crystal? On. What's it? What's that game's excuse? Well, Sarah Crystal is because it's Sonic Boom, so that's that speaks for itself. So, yeah, when it comes to Shadow Crystal, Sonic Boom, as we stated during our Rise of Lyric playthrough, had a very terrible sense of communication between the teams at the time. So each iteration kind of felt sadly different. Hence why Contact and Graph actually went out of their way to watch the lore and actually get it right for Fire and Ice. Hence why that game's story is so much better and entertaining. So, Desi! That's not saying much. Uh, yeah it is, because I actually found it good, but different structure, different folks. Speaking of, well actually no, not speaking of which, because this is actually complete fact. Desi! Yeah? Yeah, I Ultimate saw Marvel vs. Okay. Capcom 3? I've got everything I need! Yeah, really yeah, cool. I admit, I was wrong. Yeah, you so, have to now, Mr. I'm always right. <laughs> I'm Miss Beth Phoenix right to you now. <clears throat> I will be representing J my client, Mr. J Dilla Hexio. Wait, wait, uh, Jason, you know I, will, I will marry you, so... Well, we eventually... I hate things. this section, because basically in order to get the, to that thing, <laughs> you have to jump and then uh, do the, the drop dash, Right when you're uh, above that button, and it's uh, trust me, it's not as uh, it's harder than than um, it's, it's harder doing than saying. Oh, I'm oh, saying about Marvel vs. Capcom Free. Wait, what? You're <laughs> saying you love something? No, I said if you pull that, I said since I'm the one near you. <laughs> You pull that Marvel vs. that Phoenix Bright crap on me, when we meet up, I'm punching you in the face. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. If I pull it, I'll make sure that you're in on my side, so you'll be on the winning side. Regardless. Anyway, Jova, um, Okay, your funeral. Anyway, anyway Jova, I got a question for you. Yes? What was Sonic's original planned name before? Maurice. What? Maurice was his original plan name when he was supposed to, and he was supposed to start off as a brown hedgehog who I believe got turned blue and fast by one of Dr. Eggman's experiments. You can I was see gonna why say, I was gonna say, Maurice, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, I was gonna say Mr. Needlemouse. I still don't understand, I still don't understand, I still, I'm still, I don't understand that whole, uh, uh, that whole backstory that people talk about about how Sonic was apparently a hedgehog who belonged to Eggman. I, I never seen that told in it, any it, of the it, games. But, it's from uh, the UK comic. Oh, of course. Yeah. Basically, we, have our, we, we, have we British are a weird bunch. Yeah. Well, you guys created yeah. Super yeah. Ted, so yeah. I guess. Oh, how, how, we we turned we turned Sonic into an even bigger arsehole. Oh god, that comic has. Yes, if you've read STC, Sonic is a dick. All right, that mission it's complete. The better one. No. And now we unlock the final world, Night Palace. Oh, goody. What about Day Palace? Uh, sorry, the Who's no... got a rocket place? But yeah. Uh, we actually, we've already done that one. Okay, let's end it. End the part. End the part.